hello it's been a long time y'all um my last video probably was after the first chemo i haven't gone back to look but since my last video i recently did my third chemo and um i've been dealing um overall i've actually been good but one of my biggest issues is dealing with anxiety um, which I'm going to do a whole video on anxiety, just totally anxiety alone. And, um, just some tips on what I believe may be helpful for how to cope with breast cancer or any other illness, um, you know, that's, that's a really kind of like, um, I guess to some may seem like a dire situation. Um, but as I always like to say, keep positive, have positive thoughts and, um, you know, try not to let this thing beat you down, but it's hard. It's honestly very, very hard. Um, thus came my anxiety. I thought I was like really on top of things. I've always been the type of person, like I really don't, um, you know, I, I really don't shrink away from, uh, what you call it, not controversy, but, um, I really, I don't shrink away from issues, from problems. I do, I've always just kind of been like head on, you know, if something comes, you got to deal with it, handle it. And with this diagnosis that I was no different. I was just kind of like, man, this sucks, but I mean, I'm not going to just lay down and die. Come on, we got to get it on. And um, that's really how I've been, you know, just thinking positively that I will beat it. It won't beat me, things like that. But even with the positive thinking, it gets hard. So soon to come, a video all about anxiety and coping with, um, with breast cancer for me. Um, but other than that, I already told you all about that horrible rash, that full body rash I had developed after the very first, um, chemo treatment. Then, um, my second treatment went okay. I'm trying to think if anything happened with the second treatment. Uh, second treatment was okay. I did not do the new last, the, after the second treatment, um, I, and I was okay. When I went back to get my third treatment, the blood work was a-okay. Um, my white blood cell uh, count was actually pretty high. It wasn't like on the extreme maximum high end of the spectrum, but it was nowhere near like the low end. So that shows that my I did okay without the new last that I didn't need it. Um, but my veins are shot both veins on the insides of my arm um shot so that was chemo treatment one and two so when we went for the third when i went for the third they couldn't even do my um my blood work from out of my arms we had to use my hand so of course when i went to go do chemo she tried and tried and ended up do, using my hand. So all of my veins are just basically like shot. The, um, my left hand, that's the only one that has not yet um, been just trashed with this damn chemo. So we're going with the port. Um, the port should be placed soon. Uh, my next chemo is for the 15th of June, so sometime within the next couple of weeks, I will have a port. Um, which in itself is kind of, all of this is just like a, it's, it's a, it's a real, it's a real mind, I don't even have the words for it, other than a word that's not too nice, but all of this just really, really, really psychologically, like, it just tears you apart. Um, when I very first 
found out that I had to do chemo, I was like, mm, don't give me the port. We're not putting nothing in my body because I'm just going to get this thing over with and we're going to be done with it. I don't want anything in my body to remind me daily that, oh, you have to do the chemo. But guess what? With something in my body, such as a port or without, since I began chemo, that's like been, um, it's most of the times during my quiet times, during the times that I feel a little twinge of nausea, um, during the times that I'm in the restroom for a couple of hours throughout the day. During the times that I look at my veins where they used to be nice and appear, you know, a greenish tint right beneath my skin. Now I see nothing. Um, during the times when I look at my face and I have just like this acne breakout whether the bumps are there at the time or whether I'm just looking at a face that's just popped, like pop marks all over the damn place. Um, just tough looking skin, rough terrain on the face. So, I mean, I say that to say, whether I have the port or not, daily I think of this damn treatment. Daily I think of the treatment. So, I trash my veins. All for nothing as they would say it was all in vain um, because I should have just went with the port from the jump um, but whatever so now I only have three more treatments to go and I'm about to get the port um, then Herceptin Herceptin I'm supposed to do that for a year total and I'm a little bit on the fence with it Right now, at this time, I'm a little bit on the fence with Herceptin for a year. Um, it may turn out that I will do it. Or it may turn out that I won't. We'll see. Um, but, good news is that the tumor is gone. Like, as they say, palpable. It's, it is not palpable. Not to myself, not to the oncologist. The tumor's gone. So that's good news. Um... Y'all, I'm just out here. I'm just out here just trying to trying to meditate, trying to keep my anxiety down, trying to live in the here and now. Um, that's the biggest thing. I've been listening to, um, I got the audio book of, I believe it's called A New Earth by Eckhart Tolle. Um, so, you know, I'm just trying to find encouragement wherever I can and try to keep my spirits uplifted. Um, that's really my update for now, you all. Did I have anything else? Oh, no. I don't have anything else. So that's it for now. Um, everyone just continue to keep me in your thoughts. Um, send me positive vibes. Send me, when you think of me, just send me wellness, send me peace. Um, and as I said, this weekend I definitely will put out the entire video on um, anxiety because it's some real deal stuff. So stay tuned for the anxiety video and how to cope. Bye.